Well, we fast forward then to 1994 and Biggie's debut album drops, Ready to Die. His first single, Juicy, when they start doing the video, you're involved in the actual video. Yeah. Uh, Puff gave me a shot at co-directing that video. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, so he was like my first mentor in being a director. What's interesting is that Puff was smart back then because he lost money intentionally at a gambling uh, while they was shooting dice just so they wouldn't rob him. Oh, really? Yeah, he was smart. He was, this kid, he's he's worth everything he has. He, he's smart enough to have gotten. Okay, and this single introduced the world to Biggie. I mean, even though he had some stuff here and there, he had like the Dolly My Baby, you know, remakes and so forth. This was the first solo single, single. which blew up. And Big was scared to death. Really? Yeah, because he was like, listen, Puff's getting ready to screw my career. And what do you mean he's going to screw your career? He's like, I'm telling you, he's going to screw up my career with this. He wanted Machine Gun Funk to be his first single. Biggie wanted it. Biggie. Yeah. And Puff was like, no, nah, we're going to do the more of the bubblegum kind of single. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, Big's, Big's uh, you know, that's why I said Big was his push for Junior Mafia was to 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 balance out those commercial records. Right. So during this time, you and Big are meeting up and coming up with the idea for Junior Mafia. Well, like I said, I was Jacob had already put me through school. So it was based on Biggie. The Junior Mafia was just three members. It was Chico Delvec, right? Who really was Big's connect the drugs. He was his plug, Chico, right? Uh, Little C's and Nino Brown, and they were called the Sixes. They had three Sixes, like 666. Wasn't Bugsy in the group also? No, this was, this I'm was talking before about that. before okay, that, it. right? Okay, got All it. Big used to, they used to just hang out on Fulton Street and smoke weed all day, all night, and rap, and Big would, would flirt with girls, Right. But Big was a boss. He had he, you know, the first logo is uh, it it was it was based on the cartoon Penelope Pitstop. That was the first Junior Mafia logo, because that's how Big used to remind me that he was this really big guy and he had all of these short henchmen. So if you look at that first logo that was ever done, that's how they look like the little uh, henchmen in the Penelope pit stop, right? So, okay. but uh, it was only three members, right? But it was just the name. It was his crew, right? There was no music. He didn't know about nothing. So after Jacob talked me into, this is, stop thinking, because Undia started as a, a marketing company, right? So that's where the, Undias instead of ideas, I replaced it with undias. Right, un was short for understanding. Yes, which, was which I was a five percent growing up. Haha, uh-huh. got it. Yeah, since I was eleven, you know, something like that. Um, but I went to Big after that, and I said, "Here's the plan for Junior Mafia," and that included Little Kim. Everybody, the, the snakes, Rayshon and 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 Anton. Right. The, the snakes, snakes was uh, Larceny and Trife. Larceny and Trife. Right. Klepto. Now, m- mind you, Klepto was his his name. Klepto comes from because he was a booster. Kleptomaniac. Kleptomaniac. But Klepto used to sell big, all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? Versace, Klepto introduced Big to Versace and uh-huh. all of that, right? Okay. So um, Klepto had a Q45 green clip for it. And one thing about Big is if you if you had your own weed and you had a car to drive him around, he was putting you on. <laughs> that was his promise to everybody. Like, if you could drive him around, like, and, and, and because... They, I realized that through through my research of the story, he promised so many people that they should have been 
what un was to him, <laughs> right? And I'm saying, man, you guys <laughs> really believe that, you know, you guys, we put in work to get to what we accomplished. 